Hello friends, welcome to Physics and Animation. I hope you are doing well and are excited to learn something new today. In our previous videos, we learned that objects can be charged either positively or negatively and that conductors allow charge to move freely while insulators prevent the flow of charge. In the last video, we also discussed the electroscope, a device that can detect the presence of charge. Now let's dive deeper into the basic properties of charge. First and most important property of charge, charge is conserved. Let's try to understand it in simple terms. Consider we have two bodies. The first body has 12 electrons and 12 protons in its atoms. While the second body has 13 electrons and 13 protons. And both bodies are electrically neutral. Now, if we consider the total numbers of electrons and protons in our system, which includes both body A and body B, we have total 25 electrons and 25 protons, and our system is also electrically neutral. When we rub two bodies, electrons are transferred between the two bodies, causing the body that donates electrons to become positively charged, while the body that accepts electrons becomes negatively charged. However, if you look at the overall system, the total numbers of electrons and protons is still the same as it was before. We haven't created or destroyed any charged particles. The electrons have just redistributed. And the net charge of our system is still zero or neutral. Sometimes nature creates charged particles. If charged particles are created, they will always be created in pairs of positive and negative charges. So the net charge of the system will remain zero. In addition, when two opposite charged particles collide, they can convert their mass into energy, a process called annihilation. In this case, the net charge of the charged particles that are destroyed will still be zero. Therefore, we can say that the net charge of our isolated system will always be conserved. And from this, we get the law of conservation of charge which states that while charged particles can be created and destroyed by nature, the net charge of the universe will always remain the same. This is because nature always produces charged particles in pairs and destroys them in pairs. We will talk about energy mass relation and charged particle creation in the unit atom and nuclei later in this 12th physics animation series. Okay. Let's talk about the second property of electric charge, which is the additivity of charges. This property states that if an isolated system has two charges, Q1 is equal to plus 3 and Q2 is equal to minus 4, then the total charge of the system can be obtained by simply adding these charges algebraically as real numbers. Like mass, charge is also a scalar quantity, but the difference is that Mass is always positive while charge can be negative as well. Let's talk about the third basic property of charge, quantization of charge. As we know, the electron is the smallest particle that has been discovered so far. And since electrons cannot be divided into smaller parts, it is clear that the smallest possible charge value will be whatever charge is on electron. This means that the charge Q on any body can be represented as the total number of charged particles n multiplied by E. And charge will increase or decrease in the steps of E. The fact that electric charge will always be an integral multiple of E is called the quantization of charge. Charge on electrons is denoted by minus E and the charge on protons is denoted by plus E. Now the question arises. How much charge is there in one electron or proton? Let's understand this. Experimental observation by Faraday and Milken have shown that an elementary charge particle E has a charge of 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 coulombs. We can also say that approximately 6 into 10 to the power 18 electrons are present in minus 1 coulomb charge. In electrostatics, we rarely have to deal with charges of such high magnitudes. So we use smaller units such as 
माइक्रो कोलम टेन टू दी पावर माइनस सिक्स कोलम और मिली कोलम टेन टू दी पावर माइनस थ्री कोलम वेर कोलम इज ऐसा यूनिट ऑफ चार्ज नेम आफ्टर द फ्रेंच फिजिसिस्ट ऑगस्टिन डी कोलम एट लास्ट लेट्स अंडरस्टैंड सम इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट अबाउट द क्वांटाइजेशन ऑफ चार्ज एट द माइक्रोस्कोपिक लेवल the addition or removal of just a few electrons can lead to measurable increase or decrease in overall charge in discrete steps of the elementary charge value e this phenomenon highlights the importance of considering the quantization of charge at the microscopic level however when we zoom out to the macroscopic level and deal with a large number of electronic charges the impact of adding or removing few charges becomes negligible at this level the increase or decrease of charges appears as a continuous value and the quantization of charge can be ignored so that's all for this video thank you so much for watching